Hello Texans, I'm Abigail Levine, host of Tarleton Insider, a series of short videos that take a look into Tarleton and the wonderful people, departments, and traditions it has. But before we begin, we have to start from the very top, and that is with the president of Tarleton State University. Hello, Dr. James Hurley. Hello, and thank you on this rainy, thankfully we, we, on our very first edition, you brought us rain. We needed rain in Texas, we needed rain in Stephenville, and here it is. So. What an awesome way to kick off this new series. I agree. I couldn't agree more, actually. So you began uh, your first semester as president back in August 2019. Correct. Looking back at those four months, what would you say is, uh, what would you say the semester treated you? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, ironically, we're, believe it or not, we're approaching our sixth month at the, here on the 28th. So it has been like, super fast. It almost seems like yesterday because we had the 21 day transition in which I was named. And so our family had to start boxing and, and packing. And it has been an incredible experience because of you. It's because of our students, our faculty and staff and this Stephenville community have been so welcoming, uh, not only for me, but they've been more welcoming to our family. And so as a husband, uh, as a father, that was really important. How would people accept the Hurleys. And so it's been it's been fantastic. So for that, I want to say thank you. Oh, I'm glad. So you've probably already seen that the fall semester is full of various events and traditions. What would you say is your favorite memory or tradition it's been in that time? Oh, God. Another great question. So for me, I think the most memorable and one that I will never forget was our opening freshman convocation because it was my first event and Dr. DeTavio's last event in, in which, if you look just over your shoulder, I had my candle and I will always keep that candle here. And that's the candle that uh, Dr. DeTavio lit. Uh, and then I went down and lit my first student's candle. And so I think that memory is going to be very, very hard for, for any other memory to surpass. Homecoming is a fun week. I mean, we cram like 5,000 <laughs> events into one week and only Tarleton can do it up like that. So. That's been uh, that's been phenomenal. And then meeting all of our students. Uh, as you know, I've been going out to a lot of local high schools and ISDs to learn people in place in Texas. And so for me, being able to go out and learn where all of you went to school and, and to learn where our alumni are, alumni are now working, um, it, it's been really, really neat. So. That's great to hear. I hear you're from Tennessee. I am from Tennessee. My wife and I moved uh, moved your family here from East Tennessee. I most recently served as president at a wonderful institution, 225 years old. It's one of the, I think, 25th or 28th oldest institution in the country, uh, Tuscaloosa University, full of great people. Uh, it was very hard to leave the students and faculty and staff there, but Tarleton was one of those special traditions, a special place that was just really hard to say no to. Of course. Uh, what are some ups and downs since you moved here in Texas? Yeah, definitely the the uh, the people. I saw, I'll start with the pros, uh, the ups as, as you described <laughs> them. Uh, certainly the people, uh, the institution, Tarleton's just such a special place, 120 years rooted in deep um, history surrounded or uh, grounded upon student success. Uh, the heat has been difficult for me to adjust to. Yeah. <laughs> it was really hot the first two to three months. It has certainly cooled off since then. Um, and then just simply learning a new institution, learning, you know, we have 14,000 plus students. We have, gosh, I don't know, close to 1,500 uh, faculty and staff members. And so trying to learn people yeah. uh, and their faces and also the the job that they do and the passion that they carry out at Tarleton each day. Right. Well, I have one last question for you, Dr. Hurley. Uh, so it's a while before your inauguration as the 16th president of Tarleton State. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you planning on accomplishing here in your future years? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I want to continue to be a president like my pre my predecessors. The previous 15 presidents here were always focused on student success. Mm -hmm. And I certainly don't want to drop that ball. Right? Of course. I want to continue that mantle of, of always putting the needs of our students and our faculty and staff first and foremost. I want to cr help create an environment where all students feel loved and welcomed. And they know that Tarleton's a place that they're going to be accepted. Uh, 
child. That's really important to me. As you know, half of our students here are first generation learners. And so they're the first in their families to go to college and really break those cycles of poverty. I was a first gen uh, student. And so for me, I'm passionate about ensuring that not only do we reach our first gen students, but all students, right? And, and whether they're filth or sixth generational Texans mm -hmm. or that they're first in their families to go to college. So my, my, my initial focus will be on uh, helping lead the new strategic plan, and that will be a strategic planning process that will take us through 2030. Uh, so we're going to plan for the next 10 years, and what do we want our institution to look like uh, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now? And we have to, and, and the beauty of that is it's going to be grounded around the new census data that's coming out. So how do we look at the demographics and the geographic shifts that will help lead us to uh, making decisions that are best for all, not only our students that are here today, but the students that will be here tomorrow. That's a great answer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap. Join us next time on Tarleton Insider. <laughs>